Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So on my last video on the review of Generations Legacy, I touched on Zeta's relationship with Jack Mabas. So so far they decided to call it quits and it didn't go well for Zita to be honest because she really had plans with Jack and she thought that they had something special between them but it looks like Jack was just using her to his benefit really and Zita didn't take that well so they broke up and Zita is now living in a hotel I believe if I'm not wrong and Jack is now moving on with this new character who's a uh, Minister Nkaba's daughter, Rufile. But before that, is it did try to get back with Jack with all her means. She tried to find like dirt on Rufile, which she did and tried to use it against her, but it didn't work. Cause there was a scene where Zita asked uh, Kunkani to come with her to this ball party, I think, and Kunkani did come with her, even though he didn't want to. They got there and Zita tried to embarrass Rufili in front of Jack about her getting STDs from her previous um, boyfriend, I believe, called Michael, a powerful guy in the scene. And it worked to an extent because Rufili did walk away and didn't come back. But the following day, Jack did go to Rufili and told her that there's nothing to be embarrassed about and what Zita did was low of her so she came to Jack Mabasu's house and they spent the night together when Zita came to Jack's house thinking that it worked. Oh, she was in for a huge surprise because when she got there, she found that Jack and Rufili spent the night and she was devastated. She was embarrassed. She was hurt, actually, to my surprise. For a woman who is like so ruthless, you never thought, She'll get hurt, but she did get hurt. And she's like, oh, me and you have a connection. I love you, Jack. I thought you'd marry me. I thought we had plans. But Jack was like, me having plans with you? No. Mm -mm. You're not for me. Like, it won't work. And she decided to walk away and never came back. She packed it her bags and left so that's when they left it and now Rufili is stuck with Jack because of her father she really doesn't want to be in between um, Jack and Zeta's mess although she has them courage to stand for herself in terms of letting 
Jack know that she does not want to be in between that mess. She just she told um Jack that he needs to deal with Azita some way or else she's gonna come back and mess with his business, his professional life, his personal life and Jack did get that as you tell arrested. I don't know how. It looks like she is in pre prison or not no, actually not prison. Um jail. But some crime she did that Jake had on her. And to put salt into an open wound, Jack went to see her in jail, like... <sighs> oh dear, it just, it's a mess, it's a total mess, and I don't know how she even get out of jail, but I know that is just such a resourceful woman, she will find a way. Yeah, and that's it. On Jack and Jitsu's relationship. We'll see how it goes in terms of Zita coming from prison and dealing with Jack's betrayal that she never expected. And we'll see if who's gonna win, really. Because to them, this is just a game. It's like if you mess with my business, I mess with yours, kind of thing. So we'll see what happens. So do not forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want. Peace. I'm out.